Um, let's do a random relic again. We got scales, ink bottle, and wing boots. And a curse. Curse of the bell. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter where the burning elite is. Because of our wing boots. Kill this guy. Alright. What does Pennib give us? Draw a card. Oh, that was wrong. I blocked. I should have just struck struck him. Wow. Okay. Not paying attention. Assuming that I did not have enough damage. Uh, took seven damage unnecessarily. Careless. Uh, wasted the ink well. Bias Cog. Seems fine. Especially early on. Transform. Transform a strike. Equilibrium is fine. Getting some block early on is helpful. Okay. Wish we had more defend. Defend. Cog. I guess that means we take some damage. That's fine. Take two. Okay. Hey, Blaster Passer. <laughs> sure, no problem. Thanks, thanks for lurking. Thanks for saying hi. This is a... Uh, I've been having a lot of problems with A17, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay. I think we're heading for the rest. I think we just want the max HP. Oh, the healing 23 is actually not terrible. Then we can definitely upgrade a card. It'd probably be Bias Cog. Well, let's take the max HP. Okay. Gremlin knob, of course. Fine, this battle needs to end in five-ish turns anyway, or we're in deep trouble. We have lethal? I think we do. Yep. Not bad. We only took 8 damage. We only took 1 hit from him.
potion is fine. Electrodynamics sounds great to me. We could upgrade electrodynamics. I think that's right. Question is, do we want to fight the burning elite? I think so. We can then jump back to a fire afterward. Okay, so this turn, we're gonna upgrade. Up our ancient tea set. Glad we didn't have that earlier. Then yeah, let's fight the burning elite. It's not going to be the Gremlin Knob. It ends up being the Sentries. The Electrodynamics will work out really well. Okay, it's not. It is the uh, Lagavulin. Probably too early for Bias Cog. We're doing nothing here. What are we looking for? Electrodynamics. Right. I think we just skip. Okay. Now we'll take a bias cog when it comes up. There it is. Let's go. Full cast? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we, because we're retaining, we could have saved the dual cast for this turn. It's fine. Though. We got him. Okay, not bad. Picked up the key. Got a Vajra that we don't really care about. Got a self repair. That's great. Okay. Picked up our electrodynamics. I think with Bias Cog, they're all gonna die. Would like to wait for our self repair, but better than taking a bunch of damage. I'd rather have a block potion. The fragment is very good. Glacier is also very good. I actually think the glacier is more important. Well, hmm. Because we don't have very much block. Okay, so we're going to take the glacier. Feel bad about skipping the defragment. Gotta have some block. We bias cog defend. So we have plenty of block. All right, we should be able to kill him next turn. Self repair is very good. Let's go. Oh. We get rid of the block potion. Mm -hmm. 
Bullseye is okay. But I think our current set we only want fence cut. Not the steam barrier for Okay. That's a lot of damage. We don't need the energy. Thirteen damage? Yikes. That's fine. Self repair. Electrodynamics. So we have three focus, this will do eighteen. Oh that's not quite enough to kill him. Alright, do this. I guess we drink the potion. Oh no, it's 21. Oh, it would have been enough. Never mind. Well, we drink the potion anyway. We did not need to drink that potion, we wasted it. I think we skipped the cool headed. Hold out for some uh, cold snaps. Okay. Uh, I believe we get a curse for the right? Who are we fighting? We are fighting the onion. Bias Cog is not gonna help us much from that. I think we rest just to be safe. Inkwell is about to trigger. That means we get another card. Happy Flower is about to. Okay. That's a reasonable start. We'll get an extra card. Sure. Uh, do a potions we get. Okay, so that's pretty good. We wasted energy, that's okay. Sorry, happy flower. We do 19. We do 9 plus 14, yes. We're fine. Okay. Glacier is good. We'll cast and then glacier. Do we buy us cog? Bias cog, self repair, glacier. I think it's too early. Uh, 16, we have plenty. We'll take one damage if I strike, I think that's fine. Oh, wasted, wasted the 
Inkwell. Okay. We can retain our hand. Uh, we should have done some damage. Uh, good job, Bronze Scales, doing some damage. Okay. We need to do 16. No, we need to do 25. We do 25 damage. Yeah. Maybe? Twenty-six. Yes, that's just enough. Alright. Okay. We now have a ticking clock. Able to cycle it around. Lightning orb. Yeah. Okay. Happy flower giving us one extra energy, which is nice. Cutting it close. I want to retain this hand, not really. Charging up our inkwell. We gotta do 10 damage. 19 damage. We can do 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh no. I did not want him to transform, actually. Uh, I don't think I could have avoided it, though. Shoot. Oh, it's fine. Next turn, lightning will kill him. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Okay! Not bad. Made it through. Self repaired. Uh, the core surge is great because we have the bias cognition that sets up our combo. Pandora's box is maybe more useful now. We may get some crap cards. Probably better than strikes and defense though, although we don't have that many blocks. That's the concern. We will lose all of our blocks. No longer gain gold. That seems bad. Okay, I'm going to think about this. And I'm going to go to the bathroom.
Okay. What do we want here? I think we take the Pandora's box. A little risky. We just ended Act 1. I feel like no longer getting gold. Actually, maybe that's okay. The 400. We already got a lot of strong pieces. Yeah, we'll take the ectoplasm. Okay. We killed the Burning Elite earlier. I think resting before... Yeah, let's go up this way, and then we will rest for the Elite. Second from the right. Probably fine. We are going to take a lot of damage. Oh, we had one more energy because of the ectoplasm. That was wrong. Uh, let's see, that gives us 19. We need to do hacking. I think they're synchronized, so they're gonna... Oh, oh no, they're not. Okay. So the, the second mugger is leaving in two turns. We want to maximize our damage. Probably ball landing course herd strike. Well, oh, that's interesting. Um, let's see. That'll definitely kill. And that'll give me a bunch of Block. Okay, that's great. Yep. And I'm pretty sure next turn we'll be able to kill the front guy. Yep. We have enough. Self-repair is great. Uh, and that's it. Uh, we got lucky there. Oh, but the money they stole... Uh, I just lose. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, cold snap. Cold snap is great. <laughs> Apparitions. Uh, I think I pass. It's also less good at this level that you only get three apparitions instead of five. Three is not enough. Uh, the thorns is pretty good.
Okay, so the front guy will kill himself. Good. Uh, I wish we had some lightning. But at least we'll have plenty of luck. Okay. I believe will be enough to kill all of them many times over. All right, that was great. Uh, consume is good. We need a way to make orb slots at this point. Uh, let's get the special relic. Whenever you gain gold, heal 5 HP. Well, that's not useful. I can't gain gold. Did I know it was going to be that? Is it always that? Huh. That's too bad, because that would be really good otherwise. Oh, the preserved insect. Let me take it. Orange pellets is also really good. Okay, I think we take the preserve insect. Move our injury. Then we give up the ability to buy anything ever again. Let this. I like to consume. More focus is always good. Okay. Force Surgeon Tobias Cog. Into an Electrodynamics. Alright, let's go. the greatest, but that's okay. Blood vial is good. We take the reinforced body. Think so? Hello, Brad. Welcome to the stream. This time, I think I have a winning deck. Heat sink never works. I agree. Uh, I was thinking about reinforced body. Really? <laughs> yes. My last run was hilarious, where I took the random relic from the Nyauth, and it was a Pandora's box, and I had just a random slew of cards from the very beginning. I surprisingly made it into Act 2, even that was better than I anticipated a completely random deck doing. Okay. I'm going to take the reinforced body. I think we want the extra block. Yeah. Uh, you know, we got that. We got a glacier. We got electrodynamics. We have a consume. 
The thing we're missing right now is um, more orbs. Uh, more slots. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. We can upgrade. That just does more damage. That's not a good upgrade. Actually, none of these are great upgrades. The only decent upgrade is maybe Reinforced Body? Maybe. Maybe I don't go to the fire at all. Maybe I just fight an Elite. Reinforced Body is a good upgrade? Yeah, it's not a bad upgrade. I just picked up the Preserved Insect recently. Yeah, maybe I just go for more relics. Which one do I want to go to? I think I want to go to this one. Because then afterwards, I can do a bunch of unknowns before the second one. Boot. That's what I'm going to get? I don't think so. Uh, these guys are tough. I hope they don't kill me. Okay. There you go. Boot every day. Electrodynamics is very good here. Let's see. Uh, I should be attacking whichever one has the most HP, right? In fact, I can kill one. Six is incoming, right? I can do this one, and this one, and they're both dead. Alright. No problem. It's so weird to me that the emote name appears when you select the emote rather than the emote itself. Yes. It's weird to me how emotes work in Twitch in general. I don't understand why you don't have to uh, put colons around it or something to signify that it's an emote. We got a lizard's tail, that's great. We're not taking the hyper beam. We take the ball lightning? We have one. Which is they made years of bad choices. Yeah, it's also really weird because um, there are these two Chrome extensions. Uh, what is it? Like better, better face, better TTV, and uh, Franken face. And they're just Chrome extensions that will uh, replace text with emojis, emotes. Um, and so if people don't have it installed, you just get like random. You just get the text. It's weird. The emote system is bad. I don't know why they did it that way. It's ridiculous that anyone would use Chrome extensions to make the site better. I don't know. That's what you do when the site sucks. You make a Chrome extension. I mean, the quality of the site and the number of Chrome extensions are like inversely proportional. The, the, the worse the site design is, the more Chrome extensions you have. <laughs> oh yes, of course, we're all using Brave. Yes. Ah uh, yes. I've worked with Brendan Ike before. Back in my Firefox days. Just briefly. I don't hate the ball lightning. I would rather have a cold snap, but I don't hate the ball lightning. Where am I? I'm over here. Uh, Art of War is decent. I'll take it. I 
I actually don't mind losing my gold. But if I kill these... If I kill them... Um, we have the ectoplasm. We're not, we're not collecting gold anyway. So maybe we just give them our gold and move on. And then fight this other elite. And then we may have to... We're kind of low on health. You can have my gold. Goodbye. Oh, well, that's, that's a kick in the face. It's fine. I couldn't afford anything anyway. I could have afforded a potion or something. Okay. Alright, stabbing book. Uh, right, he's gonna put a wound into me. I do not want to play my core surge. my deck. I think it's fine to take the bias cog. We're going to end this as fast as we can. Bias cog ball lightning glacier? Bias cog cold snap glacier. Well, let's see. This will do seven. This will give us 21. We ball lightning and things faster. Oh, I do want that self repair. Let's cycle our pen nib or inkwell. Uh, that'll end it. I feel bad that we missed our self-repair, but I don't think we can wait for it. Okay. Get a pen nib. Ancient potion. Interesting. We take it. Makes it easier to buy us, Cog. You could have gone one more turn without getting hurt. Oh. He was doing 28. I guess it was possible. I guess I could have tried at least. Uh, I'll take loop. But a chance. Not a great chance. Yeah, better than nothing. Right? It would have shuffled the deck. And then we would have drawn four or something. We ditch our focus potion. I think maybe we did ditch our explosive po well, I don't know. Explosive potion is great against the uh, Reptomancer. I think we keep the focus potion. The engine potion is mainly for the bias cog anyway. And getting two more turns with the focus potion is probably just as good. Okay. Have the loop, we could upgrade it. 
we could use our last wing boot. Go to a rest. Pass through the shop, which would do nothing for us. And then fight the knight. Benefit of that is we would be able to upgrade. We would probably upgrade our loop. But also we could just maybe just fight a, do a hallway fight. Yeah, that's probably fine. Do this. We are just passing through. Oh, there's a capacitor that we really want. Okay. And try not to die in this hallway fight. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That was a really good first hand. Uh, let's see. He's also doing a negative effect. Uh, the dual cast is good because they'll both take the damage. Can I kill the cultist? It looks like I can. Strike plus core search. I guess I'll waste the artifact, but I don't think I care about that. And then I can equilibrium to block. Double defend is plenty. There's a bias cog. Wait. If I buy his cog, I'll go up to 14 block. Yeah, that's fine. That's plenty. Oh, that extra block was not worth it. We already self-repaired, I believe. Hmm. Oh, orbs are lethal. Okay. Uh, we have too many, or we have enough ball lightnings at this point. I don't think we want a third. We want a recursion? Yeah, I think a recursion's okay. It's good for gaining block with frost orbs. I guess we rest. I would like to upgrade the loop, but I think we rest. I think that's a smart thing to do. The knight does a lot of damage. There's no such thing as wasting the artifact. Bias cog is just that you always play in hallway fights. Yeah, so taking a lot of turns, you have problems. Yeah, I agree. I guess we play everything. That was a wasted ink well. I'm not sure it was worth waiting though. Unclear. Focus pot? Yeah, I think you're right. Hello, Alazaba. Yes, I think you're right. We should play the focus pot. How's your day going? I think it's too early for Bias Cog. The question is, should we consume? Probably. It's probably the right thing to do. We can also Equilibrium to save the Bias Cog. Although, he's not attacking, so it kinda feels bad to Equilibrium. 
Equilibrium, dual cast, consume. I think that's okay. Okay. We did not pull four serves that I was hoping to. Well, I think we just get stronger here. We end with a glacier. We end with the glacier. And with the glacier, that'll give us 21 block, I think. That's fine. We can spend three. Loop. All lightning zap. There's our 21 block. We're fine. Okay. I guess we just play everything. Let's do this one first. Oh, actually that was wrong. We want the loop on our frost orb. That was the wrong order. I'm going to set up the inkwell. And then pass. We lost out on 7 damage that we could have done. But I think we, we needed the block, the extra 7 block. Uh, we can't consume again. That's too risky. We can dual cast to give us enough block for this turn though. Aha! There's our combo. Okay. Let's go. I should have used the pen nib on the um, on the core core surge instead of the strike. I could have changed the order there, uh, and it would have done what is it? Five, four or five more damage? Five more damage? Okay. Right? Glacier is good. Glacier will give us enough block. Let's do... Uh, doesn't actually matter. Strike, cold snap, doesn't matter. This reinforced body is not really helping us, <laughs> but it's... I guess nice to have. Um, Zap is fine. We're gonna trigger our inkwell here. Guess we just got a strike. These defends are not that important. Okay, second form. I think we ball lightning, dual cast the lightning, and then glacier. No, glacier's not going to give us enough this time, is it? Yeah, it will. It'll give us 24 plus 7, 31 by itself. Yeah, so that's fine. We got plenty of block, no problem. Okay. So we want to end with the frost orb in the first slot. So we cold snap first and then we ball lightning. Consume is a dead card at this point. 
I can see why people sometimes pick up Recycle. Uh, we can Recursion, then Zap. Yeah, I think that's right. Yep, no problem. This is going pretty well. We should have upgraded a card. Clearly. Clearly didn't need to rest. Uh, th Let's see, he's doing 66. Uh, can we kill him? Ball lightning plus... See how much you enjoyed Reinforced Body? You're right. It... I, I don't think I even needed it though, did I? Maybe I did need it. Uh, do we have lethal? We can do 8. And then we'll dual cast. Which is 36. Yep, that's lethal. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Rainbow? Yeah. Rainbow, yes. You did need it, kind of. Not like you would have taken a ton of it, but I see, I see. It did help. Oh, I think we take the black star. Uh, we have the preserved insect. This is uh, this is how you win, right? Preserved insect plus black star. All right, let's go. Time Lord, that's fine. Uh, shops are worthless to us, so we're not gonna go through them. If it's not how you win, it's at least how you get the boot. <laughs> it is how you get the boot. Okay, so I want the path with the most elites. Boot. I really enjoy using that emote in other channels. Nobody expects you to waste an emote slot on the boot. Uh, okay, so there's two in the middle. And then a third one. And then a fourth one. We could hit up to four elites. The only downside with this plan... <laughs> ...is that we might die. <laughs> But I think we take it. We at least go for the first one. Okay, we're gonna go through this merchant, which feels bad, but oh well. Okay. We have the pen nib. I think we go ahead and use with the core surge. Did I try to just kill him? I didn't draw any block, so that feels bad. I mean... Chance of him dying, he would have 5 HP. Both lightnings would have to hit him. We have a 1 in 9 chance. I don't think that's right. I think we loop. Go ahead and hit somebody else. To Try to bring him down to equal levels. Alright, electrodynamics is what we were looking for. That's still not enough damage though. Even if we use our potion... Yeah, there's no autocomplete. And sometimes you're just gonna typo. Yeah, the holy mode system is bad. I don't get it. Uh, I should not have put all my damage on the first guy, but I guess I didn't know I was gonna get an electrodynamics. Taking all this damage does not feel good. My strategy of attacking all the elites is maybe going to uh, have to be adjusted. I think we bias cog, consume, and we're done. I'm 
I mean, we can overkill it. We got our self-repair, but still, we started at 71 health, so we took, what, 23? It's not good. This is crap. Uh, I guess we just add one. I don't actually want one necessarily. We are not taking a claw. Too bad we cannot collect gold because of the electoplasm. Do I ever play five cards? Sometimes. Right? Very rarely though. I don't have any zeros. Do I just take the hypothesis? What are we upgrading? Not much. I guess the upgraded loop is nice. The upgraded recursion is nice. The upgraded rainbow is nice. Upgraded reinforced body is nice. Okay, I think we take the hypothesis. Uh, this is a no op. Let's look at what we could have had. Another capacitor. Dust is rubbing it in my face. Also, the question card is great. Anyway. No use crying over spilt milk, isn't that what they say? Upgraded defense are nice. Oh, that's true. Yeah, especially in this deck. Upgraded defense are really nice. I don't want to lose any of these. I guess the dual cast? I really kind of enjoy the dual cast. I would rather have taken my recursion. But I need the frost orb generation. I need the self repair. I think dual cast is it. Cold snap? You think cold snap? I mean, I guess we have the glacier. And now we have the rainbow. But we have a couple other ways to get frost orbs. Okay, we'll get rid of the cold snap. Okay. Uh, we got our combo. That's lucky. Uh, we don't have any orbs yet. Uh, what's better here? We take more... We get one more block with the reinforced body, but we get to keep the cards. Equilibrium. I think we take one more damage. But hold on to the reinforced body. Okay, he's doing 16. So if we reinforce body twice, we're probably okay. So we have three mana. Consume any electrodynamics? No, that's four mana. Can't do math. Um, electrodynamics and loop. Definitely electrodynamics to start doing some damage. Or should I just do a full block? Or self repair while I have the chance. This is probably not going to come back around. I think that's right. Uh, the rainbow is good, the ball lightning is good. If we rainbow and then ball lightning, we can recurse on the frost orb. Oh, didn't matter. Okay. Dead. We want the cool headed for frost orb generation? I think so, because it's upgraded. 
then we draw. We can draw. It also gives us card draw. We don't have any card draw. I'm okay with that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Electrodynamics and then equilibrium. Or electrodynamics, defend, strike. And do equilibrium later? No, I think we go ahead and do this. Well, how much damage do we take? We're gonna take a fair amount. Maybe we use our potion? Our plated armor? I mean, I'm even tempted to... What's our other potion? Oh, explosive. He's gonna do 21, so we would take 8 damage. Maybe that's okay. Alright, let's do that. 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 Now we only take... 4. That's good. Uh, it's not gonna do any damage, but we can do our combo. Uh, we'll go ahead and self-repair. I guess we may as well do a little bit of damage. Uh, we should have done that in a different order. Uh, we could have dual casted and kept all of our orbs. Done. Two extra damage? Two extra damage. Uh, the cool headed is good here, right? Draw cards first. I think the hypothesis is maybe okay. Well, no. I want to stop all that damage. We want to do two points of reinforced body. I think we ball lining and reinforced body. Uh, we wasted our inkwell. But I don't think there's anything we could have really done there. He is intangible. We will just hang out. Um, I think we'll uh, cycle our inkwell. Okay, this is our pen nib. Uh, we actually don't have that many attacks, right? So strike is fine with the pen nib. We have lethal. We zap plus glacier. We'll do 26. Not quite. 26 plus 8. 30. 34. I think we end up doing 34 damage. That's fine. Oh, plus 13. Still, still not enough, but it's fine. We're not taking any damage here. Our inkwell is set up, so we're going to do nothing. Oh, never mind. He killed himself with thorns. Okay. Let's look at our cards before we pick up the war paint. Because maybe we pick up a skill. Huh, there's the cold snap we gave up. Or we could pick up a recursion to increase the chance that it gets hit. Or we could pick up the recycle, which we can use to get rid of the consume plus after we've used it. Although I guess then you're just trading one dead card for two dead cards. I think we take the cold snap. I feel like being able to generate block is important. 
Especially since, you know, defense only do so much. The question is which of these is better? The cold, cold snap. Alright, more paint. Okay, the upgraded defend is fine. The hypothesis seems good. That was a good hit. That was lucky. Alright, so I think we can fight. We have 57 health, we can fight another elite. Oh. Oh, we have to fight this guy? That's not great, actually. Don't like that. Do I hit him? I'm scared. Always just scared to hit him. I think so. I want the orb. Oh, that's bad. Um, I think we hit him again. Sixteen. I can do sixteen. All right. Let's go. Uh. Okay. This works, right? Glacier. Electrodynamics? No. Electrodynamics glacier. Or it's cool headed. Electrodynamics, cool headed loop. Be mindful of the burner as you do hallway fights, it is difficult to do sometimes. Be sure you kill when the time is right if possible. Yeah. It's tricky. I agree. Okay. So I want to kill him with lightning damage. But I think we can maybe set up for it. Maybe not. We don't have to do all of it. But I think we loop self repair glacier. What does glacier give us? Seven plus. Six? Thirteen, that's plenty. Right, because we want to increase our focus. To the point where we can get sufficient block from our frost orb. Uh, that's also bad. Oh, we don't even have an attack. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, we definitely consume rainbow defend defend. Oh, actually, maybe we rainbow first. No, because we want the focus on the frost orbs. He's doing thirty nine. Oof. We can do recursion on the dark orb, so that's good. We can get some damage in that way. This will give us 21. Pretty good. That's great. That makes our recursion free. Question is, do we hit him? I mean, probably. We have three hits. So we can get something. Not that one. Twenty-four again. All right, I think we stop at twenty-four. Ooh, 
we bias cog here? I don't know. I don't know how long this fight's gonna go on. It's too hard to tell. I think we just wait. Uh, we only need two energy, so bias should be fine. Okay. Definitely, it'll make our dark orb gigantic. Yeah, because we have the loop. So this is going to trigger twice. So it's going to go up to uh, 40, 50, 60, 61, I believe. Okay, 61 is pretty good. Uh, that's probably lethal. Alright, you're right, that was good. Bias was fine. Bias was totally fine. And our incense burner we kind of wasted, but that's okay. Hey, Defragment, we've been looking for one of those. I think we take it. Did we fight the Elite or do we upgrade a card? Because actually, there are a bunch of cards we want to upgrade. I want to upgrade Rainbow. I want to upgrade Defragment. I mean, we have another Elite coming. I think we upgrade. Upgrade while we can. There's no other opportunity. Uh, it's also nice because... With the T set. Oh no, it's not that nice. Never mind. Uh, we have to take the key. That's fine, the courier doesn't help us anyway because we have no gold. Uh, I was gonna say we get the extra energy before we fight the elite, but we don't. We do have one more wing boot. Uh, but it doesn't help us. Okay. Oh well. It's only two energy. It doesn't matter. I bet this is fine. Ball lightning, ball lightning. Bias should be fine here. If we can't kill him in like five ish turns, something is terribly, terribly wrong. Hmm. Persian consume. Do I want to keep a lightning and a frost or two frost? Probably a lightning and a frost. We consume first. Uh, the rainbow is good. Kill him. All right. Draw cards. So the Dark Orb, ideally... Yeah, we can do this. Oh, it's not going to kill him. It's not big enough. Well, I think it's still the right play. Good job, Nightbot. Getting rid of the spam. Uh, we wanted the Dark Orb to hit the Spirit Guardian. So. Oh. 
Okay. Um, it looks like this is probably lethal. Yep. All right. Not bad. We do not want any of these. Maybe if Cool Headed was upgraded, but otherwise, I don't think we want. All right, elite. And Nib is ready to go. This is not the turn I want to be intangible, but okay. We can do 16. That does not quite kill one. Let's actually draw cards first. That's fun. I think it's fine that we use our Force Urge now. Force Urge, Defragment, Ball Lightning, Ball Lightning. I guess, do we want the Self Repair now? Yeah, sure. That was a wasted Inkwell. High electrodynamics is great. Let's hypothesis first. Bye, Sneko Eye! <laughs> I would click on that ad. I would click on that spam. Hello, Jerrylicious. Welcome to the stream. Why hypothesis? I think so. We get a free recursion. We're not going to have quite enough energy, though. 32 is bad. I think we want to defend an equilibrium. Oh, which means we'll get to save the hypothesis. Fine. Well, oh crap, that's not enough. Okay, I guess we are playing the Apothesis. Whoops. Uh, not excited about taking all that damage, but okay. I did play my, um, no, we have not played. Our self repair. Oh, we did. It shows up underneath me. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, let's see. We play everything. Cog now, I think. Nine. Fourteen. You're gonna kill that knife? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we have enough block. Oh, we can kill it that way. Oh no, I want to consume. I guess consuming is not that important right now. Maybe I just strike. Uh, we did not get any lightning. That's really unfortunate. Um, okay. So the Dark Orb will kill the dagger. Dark Orb could also kill the Reptomancer, but I don't know if I can make it hit. If I strike and then Cold Snap, that's not enough. 
That's balls. If we just let it die, we can reinforce body. It's fine. Um, that gives us plenty of block. Oh, we could have even done one strike. We should have done one strike against him, but it's okay. I don't think we'll have a problem killing it. Uh, draw cards. Oh, whoops. Oh, I should have striked. That was wrong. Anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, it kills itself. Self kills. Oh, was there enough that I didn't even need to? I, I went extra turns unnecessarily. Strawberry is good. Missing top is okay. I don't think I want any of these. Okay, one more elite we can fight. Go to it. Ooh, do we fight this one? I don't think we need to, so I'm gonna skip this. More satisfying for him to die on spikes. It's, it's always more satisfying when the enemy dies to spikes. I don't want that. I don't want the curse. I think we just lose 4 HP. Okay. Good times. Uh... Alright. Uh, we're intangible this turn. That's nice. Let's upgrade all our cards. Let's... This. I think we just Equilibrium. Uh, and hope for a Bias Cog. Hey, look at that! It's a Bias Cog! Okay, so we Core Surge first. Uh, let's play some non... Uh, attacks first. Do we have enough for everything? Yeah, I think so. Then we do this. Then we do this. Alright. There we go. Maximize the damage. Uh, let's draw cards first. Okay. I think we... Hold snap. Then lightning. Uh, version is fine. Alright. I'm not sure we're getting enough damage. Okay. okay, Electrodynamics, Rainbow, Dual Cast. Actually, I think we want to end on the Lightnings. Let's rainbow first. Well, it depends if we think the Dark Orb can get bigger. It might. We consume? We need more focus. I think we just glacier. 
That puts our dark orb in front. And then we consume. And then our plan is to kill him with the dark orb. Maybe. We could... We have a recursion coming. We also have the dual cast coming. Okay, so I think we Glacier. That sets us up. Question is, do we need to consume? Do we need... I think we'd actually rather have the extra orb slot. Instead, I think we just strike. We have the double loop. But we're already at 56. Equilibrium, defend, strike. 24, 24 plus 18. Uh, we take a little bit of damage. It's okay, I think. Dual cast, that's what we want. We dual cast now, that does 100 and... 116? Or do we just wait till next turn? Oh wait, did we just retain? We just retained, right? We just equilibrium. We can just wait. We just wait one turn. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Take three damage. That's fine. Now we dual cast. Alright. Oddly smooth phone. No, that's fine. The mob bank is not useful for us. I think we take the reboot. Sometimes the reboot saves you. All right, you gotta take the key. Time Lord. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. Uh, this is not the best hand. Great to get that mob bank. Yeah, I got the mob bank and I got the, uh, what was the other thing that was, felt bad. After the ectoplasm? Oh. I got the bloody idol. After I got the ectoplasm. Bloody idol didn't feel good. Okay. I think we wait on the bias cog. I don't feel great about having only two orb slots. Um, but I think we go ahead and do it. Get that out of our hand. All right. Okay, that's something. Old snap recursion, and then end with the electrodynamics. Guess we look at what we get out of the attack potion. Uh, it costs zero, right? I guess we channel a bunch of plasma? It's not super useful this turn. I guess it's better than everything else. Oh. I guess it worked with that. I don't think we want to play it though. Well, maybe we do. Are we going to play five cards next turn? Probably not. Although with the extra energy, maybe. Okay. That's actually not great. Three. 
three. We only get one more. Hey, reinforced body. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. I think we end on Glacier. Uh, we have enough energy for all of it. We have actually too much energy. Oh, he's going to do a negative effect. Should I go ahead and core surge? You have top. Yeah, I have unceasing top. I forgot about that. Like core surge. I'm not gonna get. I definitely won't then get to use it with bias cog. But maybe that's okay because maybe at this point, if we pick a bias cog, we can we can use it anyway. We have enough time. We have enough focus that I feel like it's probably okay. But maybe I go ahead and play the core surge. I don't need to defend. Uh, so we'll pass. Okay. Equilibrium is good. I'm a little nervous about not having a frost orb loop. But I think we have to go ahead and do the damage. Thirty-four. That's plenty of block. We do the strikes. We're gonna get a defend. I think we play one of them. That gives us four cards next turn. Okay, that is not a great hand, but let's see. Oh, we got the um, incense burner. I think we go ahead and play it. Is it too soon? I don't think it's too soon. He's gonna do his healy thingy. Uh, let's play one more card just to trigger. Figure the time. Oh, so we're never gonna be able to play this meteor strike again. Yeah, he hasn't done his healing thing yet. He will after this turn. So at this point, he's going to heal up next turn, right? I think we... He's going to heal next turn. That means we don't need block, right? He heals next turn, yeah. Uh, let's put the Dark Orb in the front slot. And then loop will power it up. In fact, maybe we just wait. We do the strike. He's gonna heal back up, so I don't need to do anything, right? Yeah. For some reason I thought I'd be able to play it later. Or it exhausted or something. Uh, so I think I wait, let the Dark Orb get bigger. Let him heal. 
Okay. Dual cast is good. Wait, do I recursion first? No, I can't. If I recursion, then it's... But recursion is better than dual cast, right? Because then I'll be able to play it again next turn. Because I can't quite kill him this turn. I think I recursion. It'll get stronger, and then I'll play it a second time next turn, hopefully. And then that'll be lethal. You think I dual cast now? Because... Because I'll get the Glacier and the Ball Lightning, which guarantees that I'll be able to play, play it next turn. I think I recursion, right? And then defend, strike, strike. Um, fact. I think we can even prevent a bunch of this damage. I only need four energy. Take no damage. Yeah. And then now he's dead. Alright. Not bad. Okay, we... We finally beat <laughs> Ascension 17. It only took 9 tries. I feel like I should have done it in 7 if I didn't if I hadn't screwed up so royally yesterday. All right. Uh, we don't need to rest. What do we want to smith? Defrag? Reboot? Loop? Thanks, Catherine. Boot. That's right. Boot. We didn't pick up a boot, so it's surprised we made it this far. Maybe that's why we're not going to beat the heart. I don't. I'm not sure we can beat the heart. I think we upgrade loop. It doesn't matter that much actually, because I feel like Apothesis often gets. Played. Yeah, I think the heart beats my ass too. This is pointless. I really want that Tori. Look, there's the boot. Boot. Boot, boot, boot. Okay. That's a good first card. What does he do? What debuff does he do? I think I want to hold off. Actually, maybe not. Steal boot from shop. It's a roguelike. See? So if you can't steal from the shop, something is wrong. Well, something is wrong then. Did I do a hit to the spire shield? Or do I just focus down the, the spear first? I don't actually know what the strategy is. Oh, 
Focus the spear? Okay. I'll focus the spear. Uh, that's not useful. Guess we do it. Just cause. To cycle our... Think well again. Do I core surge now? I think it's probably fine. I feel like we're having a focus generation that bias cog is not actually that scary. Oh, it didn't even trigger. It just put the uh, things in my deck, the burns. Okay, so bias cog is still good. Defrag is good. Uh, I guess we play. Oh. I think we maybe wait. We just Equilibrium and then save our dual cast and strike for next turn. I mean, the strike's not doing anything. Okay, so I do want to turn around. Um, I want to loop. I think I do one strike to the spear, and then turn around. Right? Okay. Uh, electrodynamics is good. We keep facing the left. He's only doing 14. We already have more than that. Move our Frost Orb into the front position. Uh, we could reinforce body to help our Inkwell. It looks like the spear is dead, so let's just focus on the left side. Self repair is good, right? We just wait. Yeah, the guy in the. They're both easily dead at this point. Oh no, he got 30 block? Maybe not easily dead. Oh, recursion. There we go. Uh, let's take the data disc. Power card to start in our hand. That's very good. Oh, we got a capacitor. We've been looking for one of those. Okay, so what starts in our hand? Capacitor? Maybe. Oh yeah, the incense burner. That's right, because it's on turn six, and the first turn, the heart doesn't do anything. Um, okay, so which do we want to bottle? Yeah. I'm thinking the capacitor. Oh no, I guess the other question is, if we wait for the, the colorless card that upgrades our cards, I probably want to play Capacitor Defragment after that has happened. So maybe I just put it on loop? I think that's probably okay. Starting with loop sounds fine. And then we hope that we can upgrade our cards before we play Capacitor and Defragment. 
Okay. Okay. Let's get some block. Uh, draw some cards. Oh look, we got capacitor anyway. We play it. We play it just for the two slots. Yeah, it's probably we keep, we don't want to wait for it to come all the way around. I think we go ahead and play it. All right, and then intense burner will kick in. Oh, that's actually bad timing on the Intense Burner, right? He was already going to do one. Um, I th think we play everything. It's unfortunate we're not getting any block here. Uh, the burn is also not great. Anyway, he's gonna take a bunch of damage from thorns. I wish I had um, uh, the thing where he hurts himself. Uh, the static static discharge. Uh, that cycles lightning. Oh, so that's bad, right? I think we just block. Take a bunch of damage. Oof. That's like 40? We're gonna take like 40 damage? The heart, you are so cruel. We were one off with the incense burner. We, we wanted the incense burner to be one less. Uh, do we want to trigger the inkwell? Sure. Okay. We can upgrade our cards. That's pretty good. In our hand. I think we need to defend. We could defend, we could also rainbow. Rainbow gives us seven block from evoking versus nine. I think that's maybe better use of our energy. This is not bad. We can zap, dual cast our frost orb, then consume? Or do we consume first? Do we zap, consume, dual cast? Uh, we actually defend first, right? We're gonna play consume, glacier, I don't think we can play Bias Cog. We're gonna play Glacier and Consume. Yeah, okay. So the question is... Are we gonna get enough block? We need 60? We just consume? No. We do this first. Refocus? 
It also depends. Yeah, we zap, consume, dual cast. That's it. All right, I can figure this out. That gives us 20 block. And Glacier. Yeah, there we go. We only take four. All right. If we rainbow... We'll still have a frost orb in front. I think that's fine. Reboot? I think we rainbow first and then we reboot. Could recursion then No, we should recursion on the uh Oh we could rainbow then recursion. Just keep playing Rainbow Forever. If we rainbow recursion, we'll recurse our dark orb. Although our dark orb is only at six, so it doesn't really matter. It's probably better to recursion our lightning orb. I think that's what we want to do. There we go. Cross orb in front. That was the goal. And we got there. We probably should have gone ahead and core surge for when the bias cognition shows up. I did not think of that. Uh, incense burner, helping us out. We got plenty of block. Um, we cycle three, the dark orb ends up in front. I don't want the dark orb in front. Maybe we just glacier in equilibrium. We'll also help the inkwell. Equilibrium only. Because next turn he's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, the dual cast is okay with the dark orb. Our dark orb is just not that big. We actually probably want to dual cast on the frost orb get extra defense. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Because that puts us up to 40... 46. Uh, we can also play a defend. Get another orb. I think we want to do this... I know we have loop on the dark orb, but I think we want loop on the frost orb, and that's more important. Get rid of our slime. That. Four damage. Yeah, I think we messed up. We should have, um, we should have played our, uh, what is that called? Core Surge. We should have played our Core Surge when we, ha when we had it earlier. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think we can consume anymore. We need, we need everything we have. Let's 
let's uh, cycle our inkwell. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Uh, that's 120? Oh, I think we're dead. We can't do 120. Recursion, Glacier, Reinforced Body. That gives us like 90, which I feel like is pretty good, but it's still nowhere close. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're mega dead. Oh, we had the lizard's tail. I forgot we had the lizard's tail. Okay. Okay. 90 block is really good. Not when they're doing 120. A lot of defense. Oh yeah, we have the uh, unceasing top. All right. Totally forgot about the lizard's tail. Yeah, we should have. We should have played the corsairs last turn again. <laughs> again, I am. Uh, I am regretful. Actually, it's probably okay to buy his cog at this point. He's down to 200. 200 is fine, right? We can do this. Yeah, I think we might as well. I think at this point, we go for it. Okay, we, we strike and then we rainbow, which puts uh, the frost orb in front. All right. Oh, we got the incense burner. Okay. Draw cards. Inkwell. I think we want to dual cast on our dark orb. I'm not sure we can get there. Uh, we'll just wait. Equilibrium lets us wait, right? Yeah, that's fine. 20 by 15? What? <laughs> okay, we have to kill him this turn. That is, that is abundantly clear. <laughs> we'll dual cast on the Dark Orb. Do we Cold Snap, then dual cast? And then we play our two Strikes, and I think that's it. That's, that's lethal, right? Yeah, that's lethal. We got it. There we go. Success! Uh, throw the pot. <laughs> Too late. I did not think we were gonna win that. <laughs> 